Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain the topic unit step function. This topic is very useful to electrical students. They were using in many electrical circuits. That's why. Okay. See the definition of unit step function. For any real number, for any real number, small a, the unit step function, the unit step function is denoted by, first of all, I will explain about the notation, is denoted by u of t minus a, here a is any real number, here in general t represents the time in electrical circuits, okay, and defined as, and defined as u of t minus a, u of t minus a, the functioning value of this one is equal to 0 if time t is less than a, if time t is greater than a, then function is nothing but 1. So, this is called unit step function. In many electrical circuits, the form of the wave is specified for some time t. That is why in such cases we can use this type of unit step functions. Here a is any real number, t represents time, t represents time. So, for example, you may have u of t minus 2 then it would be 0 if t is less than 2. This function is nothing but 1 if t is greater than 2. Okay. We have the geometrical representation also C. So, let us represent the time on x axis. So, automatically vertical axis represents the function of t. This is nothing but our unit step function u of t minus 2. We are going to define u of t minus 2 here. So, take positive values 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. Here you can take point 2, point 0.4, point 0.6, and uh, point 0.8, 1. So, here if t value is less than 2, what is t value of t value is less than 2 on x axis, this line represents t less than 2, okay, then function is 0, that is why I am highlighting this one, this is t is equal to 0, okay. And if t is greater than 2, it means that if t value goes to right side of 2, then what is function? It is 1. So, our function like this, exactly at 2, 1 is here. This is the waveform of the unit step function at 2. Okay? In this way, we can represent the unit step function. Now, we are going to find out Laplace transformation of this type of unit step functions C. Now, our aim is to find out the Laplace transformation of unit step function. Already by the definition of unit step function, we know that u of t minus a is equal to 0 if t value is less than a. It is 1 if t value is greater than a. We are going to find out L of u of t minus a. So, according to the definition of Laplace transform, definition of Laplace transform, we know that L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into f of t dt. Okay, here s is a parameter, it may be a real number otherwise complex number. Replace f of t is equal to this unit step function u of t minus a. So, L of u of t minus a is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into u of t minus a dt. Okay. We are observing that here 
unistep function is undefined from 0 to infinity range. It is defined for only t is less than a otherwise t goes to greater than values of a. That is why I am splitting the integration 0 to infinity as integral 0 to a plus integral a to infinity. Okay. So, L of u of t minus a is equal to integral 0 to a only integral 0 to a e power minus st into u of t minus a dt plus integral a to infinity integral a to infinity e power minus st into u of t minus a dt. Okay? I hope you are all understand to separate the integration 0 to infinity as integral 0 to a plus integral a to infinity. Okay? So, according to the definition of unit step function, if t value is less than a, then function is only 0. Here, in the first part, t varies from 0 to a only. Upper limit is only a. That is why here, t is less than a. That is why here, we have to replace 0. So, first part becomes 0 plus integral a to infinity. Here, t crosses the a value. That is why I am replacing u of t minus a as 1. So, e power minus st into 1 dt. Okay. So, it is enough to find out integration of e power minus st dt. It is in the form of integral e power ax dx. What is the integration of e power ax? e power ax by constant a. So, according to this e power minus st by minus s within the limits a to infinity. So, by applying upper limit, you will get e power minus infinity because we have to replace t is equal to infinity here. So, you will get e power minus infinity. What is the value of e power minus infinity? It is 0. 0 by anything? 0. Minus, now replace t is equal to a. So, you will get e power minus a s, otherwise s a as you wish. Minus s is there. So, minus of minus plus e power minus a s by s. So, this is the Laplace transformation of the unit step function. So, L of u of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s by s. By using this formula, you will get the Laplace transformations at a different points a. For example, we need Laplace transformation of u of t minus 2. L of u of t minus 2. Then, what is a value here? 2. So, you will get e power minus a s. What is a value? 2. So, e power minus 2 s by s. For example, we need L of u of t minus 1. Then, you will get e power minus s by s. Simply replace a is equal to 1 in this one. Okay? In this way, we can get the unit step functions at the different points. Okay? I will give some more examples on unit step function c. See the example, find L of e power minus 3t into u of t minus 4. So, we are going to find out the Laplace transformation of the function e power minus 3t into u of t minus 4. This is very, very important problem. Clearly here, the given function is in the form of e power a t into function of t. So, whenever the given function is in the form of e power a t into f of t, students should remember the first shifting theorem on Laplace transform. What is the first shifting theorem on Laplace transform? L of e power a t into f of t is equal to function of s minus a. What is the function of s minus a? In the function of s, whenever you have s, we should replace it by s minus a. So, first of all, we have to find out f of s value. f of s means Laplace transformation of this product function. Okay? So, here f of t is nothing but u of t minus 4. Calculate Laplace transformation. L of f of t is equal to L of u of t minus 4. So, already just we proved the L of u of t minus a is what is L of u of t minus a? Laplace transformation of u of 
to be minus a. Nothing but Laplace transformation of the unit step function is e power minus a s by s. The proof of this one is not necessary here. Directly you can use the formula. So, it would be e power, what is a value? 4. So, e power minus 4 s by s. You can replace it by f of s. Okay. Now, write the statement of the first shifting theorem. This is the statement of the first shifting theorem on Laplace transform and compare the given problem with this original formula. So, L of e power minus 3t into u of t minus 4 is equal to function of here we have e power minus 3t instead of e power at. That is why what is a value? a value is equal to minus 3. So, replace a is equal to minus 3 in this one f of s plus 3. It means that whenever we have s in this function of s blindly replace it by s is equal to s plus 3. So, e power minus 4 of s plus 3 by s is there in the denominator. So, replace it by s plus 3. So, in this way we can easily find out the Laplace transformation of the given function. I will give one more example here. See. See the next example. Find Laplace transformation of t into u of t minus 2. Okay. u of t minus 2 is known as unit step function at the point 2. Sometimes it is also represented as t into u of t minus 2 can represented as u suffix 2 of t. Do not forget this. Okay u of t minus 2 is also represented as u2 of t. It means that u of t minus 2. Okay? See. Clearly here we are observing that given problem is in the form of t power n into f of t. That is why we have to apply multiplication rule on Laplace transform. What is the multiplication rule on Laplace transform? L of t power n into f of t is equal to minus 1 whole power n into nth derivative of f of s with respect to s. Already you know it. We discussed many problems on this type also. So, first of all we have to choose what is f of t in the given problem. Here f of t is equal to u of t minus 2. So, calculate Laplace transformation of this function. So, Laplace transformation of the unit step function at the point 2. So, it would be e power minus 2s by Yes, you can say this is f of s. It is better to write uh, which formula is applied here. It would be L of u of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s by s. Okay, the proof of this one is not necessary here. Now, take the multiplication rule on Laplace transform. Already we know that this and uh, write the given problem here and you have to compare the given problem with the original formula. So, L of t into u of t minus 2. Here we have the unit step function at 2 instead of f of t. And what is n? n means power. It would be only 1. So, it is enough to write only one derivative here. So, d by ds of what is f of s? e power minus 2s by s. e power minus 2s by s. So, how how we can find out the derivative here? We have to use the division rule. So, minus 1 whole power 1 means only minus. Open a bracket. Write the derivative for the denominator. Already you know it. Derivative of derivative of u by v is nothing but denominator square. Derivative for the numerator into v minus u v dash. In this way, we have to find out the derivative of that term. So, derivative for the numerator is derivative of e power a x is a into e power a x. That is why you will get minus 2 into e power minus 2 s into v minus. Now, u is the similar term. Do not disturb the numerator now. Into derivative for denominator is only 1. Derivative of s with respect is 1. Okay. So, Take the negative sign to inside, you will get both terms are positive in the numerator and e power minus 2s is the common term. So, e power minus 2s into, 
here remaining term is 2s here remaining term is plus 1 by s square in this way we can get the laplace transformation of the given function thank you very much in the next video i will give some more problems and some more updates on laplace transformations thank you very much